again everybody this is Jeff with the Compass Hardware Transition Team. Today we're going to be going over the Dell 240 watt Thunderbolt docking station otherwise known as the Dell TB16. Um, this will be for our Dell Latitude E7480 model as well as our Precision 5520 model. I'm going to go over the unboxing of the Thunderbolt docking station, port identification, and how to connect it to your laptop. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so you're probably wondering what's inside this very large box here that you got from us. This is going to be the Dell Thunderbolt docking station. So we'll go ahead and open it up. And there will be three things in here. You're, one, you're going to have the user documentation that comes standard with the Thunderbolt dock. You're going to have the Thunderbolt docking station itself. And for at least cardboard insert, you're going to have this ridiculously large AC adapter. Don't know why they kept it so big. They could have reduced the size of that. Anyways, this is the AC adapter for it. It's a 240 watt adapter. So let's go ahead and go over the documentation that was included. Uh, the first large packet you're going to have here is just some safety and environmental information. Uh, you can read over if you want, you don't really need to, it's just about if you need to recycle the docking station for whatever reason. Uh, the installation guide, this is not going to be uh, useful for you because by default um, it shows you uh, how to connect the Thunderbolt dock cable, but from the manufacturer it's already installed for you so you don't have to worry about that, so we'll go ahead and set that aside. The last piece here is the quick start guide. This may be useful for you if you open it up and flip around to the back side. It's actually going to show you uh, the, all the ports available on the Thunderbolt dock as well as port identification. I'm actually going to be going over port identification with you in this video, but you may want to go ahead and file this away somewhere in case you ever need it in the future. So now we're going to go ahead and go over port identification of the Thunderbolt docking station. If you flip it over to the back side here, you're going to see a number of connections. Uh, so first we're going to start with all of the video connections. So we're going to go first with, you have VGA, you have HDMI, mini display port, and display port. This docking station is capable of doing three external displays at one time. Uh, will not do more than three. You have a RJ45 jack or Ethernet or LAN connection. You have two USB 2.0 ports. You have one USB 3.0 port. You have an extra Thunderbolt port. You have an audio out for external speakers. And this is the power and this is where you will plug in your AC adapter. If we flip it around, you will see two more USB 3.0 ports. The USB 3.0 port on the left hand side is actually PowerShare. So if you want to connect your cell phone up to it, this will charge your cell phone if you connect it to this left port. And then over here you'll just have your standard 3.5 millimeter global audio jack. So if you have a microphone headset, uh, you'll want to plug that into here. So let's go ahead and uh, get this docking station connected here to our Latitude E7480. First thing we want to do is plug this cable into the adapter itself. This is the part that's going to go from the brick to the wall. And after you plug that in, you're going to notice this blue ring around the tip. This indicates power coming from the brick, which means you have a good power source coming from your wall as well. That means that the brick is functioning as it should. So we're going to go ahead and now and plug this into the back of our Thunderbolt dock right here. And I'm actually going to plug up some external devices I have here. So today I'm going to plug in a external monitor via display port. Go ahead and plug that in. And I also have a USB mouse and USB keyboard I'm also going to plug in. Those two 
glasses in here. And now we're ready to connect to the laptop. So if you'll notice on the side, the left side of the Latitude E7480, as well as the Dell Precision 5520, you're gonna see your Thunderbolt connection port here. All you're gonna to wanna to do is just take the cable, the Thunderbolt cable from your dock and plug it directly into that Thunderbolt port. Once you do, immediately you're gonna see a power light turn on on this Thunderbolt cable. That indicates that you have power and connection coming from the docking station to your laptop itself. That's good. Another thing you're going to see is by default, the only things that will be useful right off the bat will be any kind of external display you have hooked up and it'll provide charging to the laptop. Nothing else will work. This is by design. You have to actually approve the Thunderbolt device to your laptop prior to using anything else, prior to using keyboard, mouse, or any other external device. So as you saw, as soon as I plugged up that Thunderbolt cable, you see this approved Thunderbolt devices dialog box open up for you. It should open up by default as soon as you connect the docking station for the first time as you're logged in. So all you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna see two drop down boxes. I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about here. There we go. So all I'm gonna do now is hit the drop down box on each one of these and go from do not connect to always connect. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you do this for both. So both drop down boxes are gonna be set to always connect. Once you do that and you hit okay, you're gonna notice down at the bottom that every external device you have connected is gonna go ahead and start installing. So you can start popping up here down at the bottom. And if you give that a second, probably less than a minute it'll take to install the devices, depending on how many devices you have installed. If you have a printer connected, it may take a little bit longer just because it'll want to try and grab the correct drivers for that printer during the installation. So as you can see, we're now actually ready to go. out here for a second and I can actually see I'm using my external mouse here and my cursor is now moving and my keyboard now works as well right. I'm going to show you something just in case you did not get the screen that pops up automatically when you connect your device you did not get that approved dialog box for the Thunderbolt software. Don't worry, nothing's broken, everything's fine. So we'll go ahead and show you how to launch it manually. So if you needed to launch it manually, you can go a little bit more again. You just want to click on your start button. And then once you click on start, you'll see all your programs here. Scroll down until you see Thunderbolt software. When you do, just click on it once to expand it, then click on the Thunderbolt software link. So you can see it opened up for you, and again, you're prompted with the same screen again. So again, we'll just go from do not connect to always connect. Hit OK, and we're ready to go. That's it. And now we can begin. So that's pretty much it. Um, this dock does have a one year warranty. So the docking station does come with a one year warranty. Should anything happen to it, uh, should it lose power, connections start dropping for whatever reason. Go ahead and give us a call 
and uh, we'll see what we can do about getting it replaced under warranty for you. So if you need any help, uh, just make sure you call them into the Compass Help Desk. We can help you troubleshoot any issues you may have. So um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.